生まれながらの負け犬くんそいつは負け犬じゃねえ明日は俺のライバルだ今、海軍を倒すなんなんだその国もあるわ五枚目悪魔が強い Hello guys, welcome back to my reaction channel. Today we're going to react to Black Clover episode 38. Now, guys, after a lot of epic hype episodes, I'm expecting this episode to be a little chill, a little mild episode because, bruv, we've been fighting for a minute now and、uh, so, so many powerful characters, wizard captains, everybody was on the screen displaying their epicness. And now the fight is over, and I think we're gonna get a little breather. I might be wrong because those bad guys were kind of plotting about coming to the Clover Kingdom and, and snatching back the guys that we apprehended. Pretty much the Wizard King, right?、Uh, not the Wizard King, but yeah, one, one was apprehended by the Wizard King, and the chick was apprehended by Yuno and the girl from the Black Bulls. So basically, they might invade the, the Clover Kingdom again. and... We might be getting another epic episode, but I think it's gonna be a little, you know, lighthearted episode. Maybe, maybe、uh, Asta's gonna hit on some chicks again with luck. <laughs> I'm here for that too, bruh. That being said, if you enjoy my reactions, you know what to do. Let's go. Bro, okay, we're gonna skip all of this. Skipping the intro altogether. And come on, bro. Okay, let's go. What? I've seriously been asleep for a whole day? That's right. And、Ooh. you had the nerve to snore the entire time. And the one who took them, Nij, I believe, he's being questioned back at HQ. Although I doubt he can tell us much about the Eye of the Midnight Sun. I wouldn't have allowed the enemy to escape so easily. Shut up!、Yeah. Four captains, four wizard captains allowed them to escape because they really didn't have a choice because those guys were overpowered, even helped us contain that lunatic Licht and his full power. So. Bro, just cut the crap. <laughs> I know this is just bravado right between them, but come on. Yeah, well, now I'm gonna catch them. You know, I'm not letting you get the better of me. You'll see. I'm just gonna keep getting stronger and stronger. Then I guess I'll just have to keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Why don't you try that again, you delinquent? Why don't I just finish you off, you half dead old hag? What? Go ahead. You'll be right back in prison the second you do, you depraved ex convict. I swear to God, if they started kissing right now, I would have no problem with it. Well, I guess he's underage too, so I would have a problem with it. But if he was 18 and they started kissing, I would be like, okay, fine. It's way better than him getting nosebleeds every time he thinks about his sister. Let, let's be honest. Hey, no fighting, big brother. Of course, Angel, whatever you say. Well. I suppose I can bring myself to thank you for taking care of Marie, you withered old bat. Are you going to praise your big brother for not fighting? It's not even that he cares for her, right? It's that he's probably very, very glad that his little sister has someone like her to look after her, right? So he appreciates that, even though he might not be able to express it in the most healthy way every time, right? But he does appreciate this old hag. <laughs> Excuse me! <gasps> It's us! <laughs> But I gotta make a stop first. Huh? <sighs> the kids! I'm so glad you like it. I figured you'd wake up hungry, so I wanted to have plenty of food. Yeah, she's cheating. She's cheating. There's no better way to get to a man than through his stomach, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> But I might have made too much. She knows what she's、finish. doing. This is really, really tasty. Kill him. Kill him. Well. I'm no match for her. Pretty sure you are. <laughs> hey, like I said, okay, my internet is bugging.、Uh, like I said, she knows what she's doing, bro. My man had, like, my man just got a, a kiss on the cheek and some good warm food. Noel might know magic that she can't control, but she can't even hold a candle to this woman right here. <laughs> She has a lot,、uh, she has ways to go before she can get to this level. So, this woman should stop talking down to herself. I might have lost Luca and Marco. Thank you. 
Ah, yeah. Yeah, okay. There's that. Why are we having a contest? That little girl is gonna eat the table with the food, bro. You can't beat her. Is this actually a Black Bulls tradition? Why is she naked not. all the time? Hey, you wanna spar? I gotta make up for missing out on the big fight. Ugh. I haven't even taken a bite yet, so how come my stomach's full already? I see what you're doing there, Finroll. Stop using spatial magic to send your food into Luck's stomach. I'm busted. That is crazy. That's a crazy way to use your spatial magic. Oh my god, he can defeat anybody with that. Imagine in the middle of the fight, he just starts feeding his opponent, bro. That, bro hey, yo, that's dope. Sir, I'm not very hungry. If there were a pretty woman to feed You're out. Oh yeah. Let's go. If I could just have a sip of water. Yeah. Out. <laughs> Those losers over there tapped out ages ago. So who do we have left? It's an Austin and Johnny showdown! We got a letter. That crest! It's a letter from the royal capital! Did something happen? Are we going? Stop yapping for a second, will you? I've done as you asked. The captains have been notified about tomorrow's meeting. Excellent. Thank you. As much as I don't want to believe it, I can no longer deny that there's a traitor in our midst with ties to the Eye of the Midnight Sun. My real name is Marx, and it's my honor to serve at the Wizard King's side. The Wizard King? Wow, Mushroom Head, that's amazing! It's been real fun chatting with you, Mushroom Head. Now, where's the meeting? My name is Marx, sir. <laughs> yeah, I don't care, uh, bro. I don't care. Yami does not care either. Yami does not give a crap, bro. I'm, I, I'm starting to think Yami only respects the Wizard King, bro, at this point. And, and that's hilarious, bro. But uh, okay, and, and Asta's literally just mirroring Yami. But I am very intrigued to see what's actually going on here. How is... Like, it's definitely going to be the, the captain of the Golden Dawns. If it's not him, the traitor, I'm going to be heavily surprised. But how is he actually gonna confirm that, right? And what, what, what part does Asta have to play in that whole plan? The preparations are going to take a little bit longer. Please wait with the other captains. Huh. Now, Asta, if you would please come with me. They've had memory protecting magic cast on them, so we haven't been able to get any intel on their organization. Thus comes Asta. If he cuts them, he's gonna... Cut the magic, and they're gonna be able to see what they remember. But the Wizard King has an idea. He believes that your anti-magic sword might be able to break the protect spell. You're the only one who can use that anti-magic sword, so... Incidentally, I heard you fought some of the Midnight Sun's strongest mages. And I love this. I love his personality. I love the fact that he's a nerd when it comes to magic, and he likes to hear about their magic abilities, And right? I love it. And about their magic. Was it cool? Uh, sorry? Sir. Uh, but there's something intriguing about the Wizard King that I've noticed. Do you remember when he was fighting the, the underlings of, of, of this organization? He whooped their asses rather easily, right? My man did the double Rasengan to those bitches and sent him flying. Then he, like, time-binding magic. Then he aged that guy's hand, Licht's hand. And he did all of that without a grimoire, bro. I haven't seen his grimoire. My man, how the hell did he cast all those spells without a grimoire? Right? So there's something very intriguing about the Wizard King. Calm yourself. Uh... Right, sorry. What's it doing? The spell lets us communicate directly with their minds, allowing us to hear only their truthful memories. Which means they can't hide. <gasps> also invades their personal space privacy, all that shit. It's about breaking 27 million laws at once. But hey, I guess they're war prisoners. <laughs> I'm going to ask you some questions. You are to answer them honestly. Understood? Yes, sir. That's a hefty ability right there. <laughs> we still need an interim captain for the Crimson Lion Kings. Who this guy's the youngest, right? Uh, I, I compared him to Toshiro from, from Bleach. Whoever it is will have big shoes to fill. If Wagolion were here, he would have had everything settled five minutes after he walked through the door. I apologize for my tardiness. This guy. What were you doing, Vengeance? See? Vengeance, yeah, this guy, this guy's sus, bro. I'm, I'm telling you, he's gonna be the leader, or maybe not a leader, but he's gonna be the traitor. Also, do you notice, out of all these squad captains, two of them have masks. Vengeance and the fat dude. And I'm certain, like, Vengeance is, is a traitor, but maybe the fat dude too? Why does he have a mask, bro? I'm, now I'm sussing both of them. Oh, something needed my attention. 
You're busy. And who would expect it to be otherwise? The charismatic captain with the most stars to his name, this term must have a lot to do. See, and they're sitting across from one another. Bro, oh, the mask dudes are sus. So tell me, what is your secret? What were you doing on the day of the distinguished service ceremony? When a captain has knights who are taking part in the ceremony, that captain should also be in attendance. True. Perhaps there was something that needed your attention that day too. Because he wasn't there either, but nobody's sussing him because he's too... Like, he lacks brains for such an operation, bro. But I love how the, the captains are starting to bicker amongst each other because somebody's sus and they all know it, right? But I love how nobody's sussing Yami because it's Yami. <laughs> Nobody asked. Yeah, the they're all slipping again. I know. And as for you, if you intend to impersonate me, then be prepared. I, I'm yummy. Okay, now you keep your darn mouth shut, Chuckles. What? I bet you were babied a lot growing up, but I'm not gonna do that. Got it? He has a point. Looks like this was purposely done. Like everybody's here, tensions are rising, everybody's accusing everybody, while. Julius and Marx, whatever the name of the sidekick is, and Asta are getting through all those memories. And if any of these captains show up, Julius is gonna come here and rip him a new one. It's all down here today and went running off somewhere. It, it could happen. happen. Thank you for waiting patiently, everyone. The preparations are complete. However, the captain's meeting will be taking place elsewhere. Get your ass over here, mushroom head. Thanks to Marx and Asta, they've become very talkative. It seems. One of you has been working with the eye of the midnight sun. Ooh. Ooh. And the smile, the innocent smile of the wizard king, he's gonna kill all of them, bro. Like, yo, no, 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 that, that, you ain't fooling me. That smile was creepy as hell, bro. My man was like, <laughs> get ready to die. Nah. And did you see the, the, the camera panned to the Golden Dawn's captain? He wasn't worried at all, bro. I think this is a trap. Maybe they have false memories. Maybe they're gonna accuse Yami. Imagine if there, there's magic for false, but then again, Asta would dispel that magic. I don't know. But maybe there's a way to instill false memories into somebody, and now they went through so much trouble to get through to those false memories, and maybe those false memories are gonna accuse Yami, they're gonna arrest Yami, and that's not gonna be good for anybody, because why would the Golden Dawn's captain be so comfortable after he heard that? He didn't make a face or anything. He also had that mm, smile, bro. That, that's creepy. That's creepy. But the Wizard King... He's the creepiest of them all, bro. How can he whoop that much ass without using a grimoire? That's my question. That being said, I ain't gonna pull on this that much. I really enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoyed the reaction, and I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe, love you, enjoy, and bye.